All right. So we are trying to continue our hopping around with uh, Q virtual. Let's actually go for uh, display capture. And let's go to here first. It's going to be AAL 154. Just to make sure it's a 737-800 because I made that mistake earlier. So it's the right airplane that we have. That's right. So I'm going to go for seven AAL 154 banner overlay. So it's going to be K-O-R-D. K D C A one five four. I'm gonna still have a pilot edge, even though I'm not gonna be in the pilot edge area, so there's not gonna be any radio communication. We're gonna be at thirty-five. Uh, actually, I'm gonna put it in a different way. I'm gonna put it to F. -R. No, I cannot. So thirty-five thousand. Transitional to the yes, Max says, okay, that's good. I think we're done with this. That's good. And we're going to go for um, this one. Let me see. We have KATL. I don't need those anymore right now. I'm going to need this, and I'm going to need... Uh, KDCA. There is no star. Let's download that. We have the latest and greatest Navigraph. So that should be good. Uh, put it like that. Get rid of it and put it there. All right. So we're going to actually uh, go from KORD to KDCA, which is a relatively short hop, a little bit more than an hour. And then from there, we're going to go to J. FK Airport. And I'm just flying the JAR 8320 302 LG. Nice. Nice, Alex. Nice, Alex. Um, Vienna is next to my home because I live in, I'm, I'm a Hungarian. I don't live in Hungary, but I'm a Hungarian. And um, that's next to my home. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually. I will have to relocate this airplane because right now I was in Miami. I tried to, whatever happened, I couldn't program the Miami to Orlando flight. Somehow the FMC just didn't want to do that, and I don't know why. Anyway, K O R D, uh, customize. Uh, C terminal, which terminal would be uh, give me a quick second. I actually I like to be like realistic, so I'm gonna go for Google and K O R D American Airlines Terminal Terminal Okay, let's see. What terminal? This is the one. Okay. American Airlines Terminal 3, Domestic and Internet Departures, and Terminal 5, ar uh, Arrival. So, Terminal 3 should be Domestic and Internet dep Departures. So terminal 3, Gate 4. Five looks all right. We might need to change that. And uh, we're gonna have a Boeing 737-800. We have the American real world tracking real world time. Perfect. Let's start it. And I just realized that this picture is actually a 737. 
now I can realize it, and I can recognize it because now that I'm flying this airplane, I can re recognize that this this picture, the front picture of a plane, X-Plane 11, is actually a 737 airplane. It's pretty interesting. I didn't realize that before. All right, it's going to take a little while. Let me try to alt tab out, and I'm going to actually start this one because I don't want to forget this. That would be, I mean, Recently, I haven't forgot, but I forgot earlier. That was really bad. So we're going to do this one. Uh, 531 miles away. That's not a big... That's not bad. And JSNAP is uh, hosting us. So nice. Excellent. We'll be at Dash A. Yeah, uh, that's actually one that I'm thinking of getting myself. That looks to be a perfect, beautiful one. 35,000 is the actual thing. I'm going to put on... I'm actually going to put it on uh, file offline because it's not, I don't have it on. I'm going to put in here um, streaming on Twitch TV, Mature Gamer HD. And um, what else do I need? Yeah, I'm going to need, of course, um, This one here is going to be, that's not the flight. This is the flight. And I'm going to go actually to SimBrief to open it up. And the reason I do that is that I can actually file it in to, let's take a look at the root map there. Okay, uh, I don't like that, but that's fine. Well, the last flight is going to be very short, actually, to New York. It's going to be a very short hop. So that's fun. Um, Thirty-five thousand. that's right. And... Just to make sure that it is a uh, 737-800. That's good. All right. So what we need here is... Oh, yeah, the flight plan. I'm going to copy this flight plan right in there. Hopefully, it's actually going to work. Let's see. There you go. And we are done with this one. We're going to start a little bit later. Let's go into the airplane first and let's start it up. Checklist, open checklist. Next. Let's download it. Uh, fuel time and load. I'm gonna recalculate it simply for the recalculated us. Trust limit, I don't know. Departure weather. Actually, let's take a look just for fun. We had a very bad weather when we came here. Ah, that's fine. That's a good one. Arrival, never, 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 never mind. And now we're gonna go here. So let's do it. So our basically you have to make a little calculation here. Our uh, empty weight, our ZFW is going to be five seven seven four eight, and we're going to go. To explain 11 and edit the weight and balance. The way we do it, we actually zero down both of these and we're gonna deduct 41413. So our payload is 16. Oh shit, hold on. 
Our payload is going to be 16335. Enter. There you go. That's our payload. That's good. The weight of the fuel is going to be block fuel is 7234. 7234. Right. And basically, that's it. Done. Okay. And apply the changes. Good. Let's actually start the whole procedure, which means parking brake. Set. Set. Landing gear is down. down. Speed brake Speed lever brake is actually all down where it's supposed to be. Down Flap Flat is up. up. This one. This one is actually not programmed, so never mind. Battery. battery. We're gonna have the battery on and guard it. On slash guard close. Standby Stand power, power going to auto and guard it. Auto slash guard closed. Now these Generators two are guarded and closed. I mean the Auto guards is closed. Bus transfer switch is on auto as we can see, just double check that. Auto slash guard close. And ground power, ground power power ground power is on. Good. On. And we're gonna go for the IRS mode selectors, we just simply turn them on. Off the nav and on. they are already aligning. At least they are working on the alignment. It's going to take a while. The air switch is right here. It is armed. Off, actually. Off slash guard closed. Service interphone switch. Wait a minute. Yeah, this is the way it should be. Yes. Service in the sir. Come on, move it. Service interphone switch is off. Easy switches, they Easy automatically switches. on and guarded. On slash guard closed. Passenger oxygen switch Passenger is oxygen normal switch. and closed. Normal slash guard closed. And these are illuminated. Indicator lights. Illuminated. Illuminated. Off air speed warning test switch one. I'm pushing it. Now, to be honest, it doesn't. Oh, it does have a. Okay, uh, we're gonna just simply do that. Stall warning test switch one. Now that one is actually working. Push. Stall warning test switch two. Push. Push. All right, let's go on. We have KGS. Check. And we're going to put on the shocks. Put it on. By the way, back, and I'm going to F mode sounds. I'm going to. I'm going to do a dock. That one was on and the menu. The model and the end rating is correct. It is. Check. Verify that the navigation database active date range is correct. August 17, September 14. Check. That's check. Verify that the time, time is correct. correct and the position interface is check. Well, more or less. Check. Enter the present position on the set IRS. We are K O. R D it doesn't actually like on the seven fifty seven it would come up here and I would put it in here. Here is just simply last position. That's what I'm putting in over there, but whatever. Enter the origin and destination. K O R D Su K D C A 
And to the flight number, what it was, 154, AAL 154. So it's AAL 154. Check and runway. We're going to use the runway. 33. Okay, actually, I don't need it. Set and execute. Select and execute the runway and departure routing. Okay, let's go for the route. The, we gotta have the flight plan. Uh, we're gonna go for departure. Is actually a direct departure to M O B L E. So we don't have a departure basically. We don't have like a specific departure page. Execute. And then next page. Edima. A D I Edima. Okay. Okay. And then we go to hold on. You guys can see that, right? Yeah, you can. Gonna go direct Otens. Otens. That's right. And then direct Oneva. And then uh, Jerry. And then Buko, B U C K O, B U C K O. There you go. And I'm going to actually execute all these. Okay, departure arrival. We're just going to put an arrival there, and that's going to be the FRDMM3 and we actually gonna go to runway 33 again. So FRDMM3 Rom uh, we have an RNF33 that's all we have. Oh no 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 hold on um Pressure, how do i hold on root I'm actually deleting
can I have like oh here you go uh, how the hell do I do that hold on root I want to delete that How the hell do I get rid of it? Hold on. Delete. Delete this. Delete this. Delete this. Okay, execute. So we are now back to departure arrival and we can go for no. How can I? Can't I like um How the hell do I get rid of that? Departure, but that's not the one I want. How can I go for a different one? Oh, there you go. So we're going to go for, wait a minute, there are like, oh, this one, 33, FRD M3, 33, transition buckle and RNF33, that's what we're going to do, and now we're going to have on the route, perfect, all right, and we're going to get it off. Uh, let's go for the legs. Execute and vectors, and then uh, we're gonna have Johnny. Execute. I think we're good. There you go. Okay, we're good. So we we just got ourselves that. No. Now we still don't have IRS. Uh, still not done. Now, unfortunately, the only way I can I can deal with that it's supposed to be like a real time thing, but it's just way too slow for whatever reason. Let's take a look while we are waiting for that. This is the O'Hare Airport. It actually looks pretty nice, if you ask me. Let's take a look where our 33 is going to be. That's 28. Actually, yeah, that's 28. Twenty-eight R. Wait a minute. Let's take a look at the this thing here. K O R D. Airport. There you go. Where is the thirty-three? There is no thirty-three. So I don't know why it says 33 when there is no 33 in this airport. It's just kind of weird. It does say KORD 33. But there is no 
33. So what is he talking about? Okay, so since there is no 33, the closest is going to be 28R. That's the closest, right? So I'm actually at somewhere, I'm going to go for 28R, which is, we already established this right here. And our airplane is right Where's our airplane? Oh, it's right there. So we're going to come up like this, and we're going to come over here, out here, basically, and taxi all the way till the end. And that's going to be, not till the end, but to this point, and it's going to be 28R. Good. Let's take a look here. This thing is still not aligned. Now we can fix that. I mean, I can still wait if I want. Everything seems to be okay already. We're just waiting for that because if you take a look at that, there is a setting here. Oh, wait. I just heard some noise. Oh, we got it. We got it. Okay, now it's aligned. 41584. There you go. So we are perfectly okay. Now we can actually go for a plan view and go for waypoints. I'm going to go for. like this and actually if you take a look at that we're gonna have the steps i'm actually gonna go for hold on that's kind of weird i actually have to go to fmc pause in a root actually it should be the wrong way it should be 28R is the wrong way. There you go. Now it's better. Execute. Okay. So if you go to the legs, let's do some steps. We just simply follow this way. All right. Let's go a little bit smaller because I cannot see it this way. Oh, now that's interesting. Step, step, okay, that going down, and then we basically come back to Geneva and coming down like Croft and then the wrong way. Okay. I got gotcha. you. Uh, that would be just a. Uh, that would be if, if, if we missed the approach. Never mind. All right. Okay. Let's go back to map mode. All right. And let's go back to this mode. So let's go to root. And performance in it, we're going to actually go ZFW. We already have the weight. Okay. Few reserves. Let's actually, reserves. We actually, we all get the data from here. I'm not going to create any data myself. Few reserve has to be 1. One. I'm going to put 1.2 just to make sure that it's enough. 1.2 is going to be my full reserve. Cost index is 26. 
there you go sorry Enter cruise, okay, the cruise altitude is 35,000, 35,000, right there, now the wind is 263.06, 263 Enter, okay. I'm not gonna enter. I'm not gonna put anything in here. Transition altitude 18,000, that's good. Fuel is gonna be okay. It is, good. Now let's go back to lag. Okay, so we're gonna basically take off at mobile, that mobile, um, I don't have any minimum, so it's okay, but should be fine. Here is the question. It slowed down to 250. I'm going to have to stay under 250 at under 10,000. That's good. All right, now obviously we're gonna be much slower, not much slower by then, so that's fine. We're gonna slow it down when we need to. That's good. Check. Check. Let's go for so the temperature or a fixed D rate takeoff or both as needed. And we leave. I'm always gonna put on 45 D this one, and let's just put a D rate and normal climb. Hey, Mommy Zorbs. Hey, Mommy, how are you doing? Select. Thank you so much for the horse, man. Enter T slash off flaps position. That's so kind of you. All right, so let's go. We're going to for... We are setting up a flight from Chicago to Washington on this gorgeous airplane that we've got here. It's a 737-800. And it's just gorgeous. So let's go... Flaps, um, what is it? How are you doing, man? So nice to see you. I'm gonna put flaps, flaps five. That should be, yeah, that should be okay. The speed should be fine. CG, I'm just gonna enter it. So 5.4 is gonna be the verified the trim value shim is there. It's 5.4. And we're gonna use these ones. 140, 141, and 145 is good. Select. Come on. IRS alignment is complete. Uh, yes, it is. Thank you. Check. Your damper. It is on. On. Ultimate, Ultimate flaps. flaps position switch. Alternate flap is on off. There you go. Off. Navigation. They are all on normal. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. I am trying to make a beautiful flight here, hopefully. Can you stay for a while? I Have you ever watched me flying? It's auto. Display control also on normal. Okay. Cross-feed selector is closed. And all the fuel pumps are fuel off. Pumps. Off. All right. Test switch. Hold two. Now that one is down. Oh wait a minute! I always forget what it is. Overheat this one, right? Hold to fold in up. It's wor it's working. And overheat fire. 
All right, let's just get rid of these. Thank you. You will be here for a bit. Okay, sorry, it's, uh, it takes a little while to actually start this thing. As, you know, as a normal position one and release. Position one and release. And the two, it does work, good. It takes a little while to start this thing up because, you know, it's a very, it's a very complicated airplane, obviously, so it takes a little while. It should be on. IFE passenger. On. Let's actually start. One, two, three. Actually, we have to wait until that gauge actually starts giving us some value there. Come on. There you go, the gauge has some value, so it started. Thank you, and APU generators should be on. Now the ground power, power actually disconnected already. Okay, equipment cooling should be both on normal. Emergency exit lights should be armed and guard closed. It is on armed, so let's close the guard. Seatbelts. Uh, let's put it on auto. Now smoking. I'm actually putting the smoking on. On. No smoking sign is on. Windshield wiper selectors on park. Window heat. Window heat power test is done. done. And the other OBHT. test, that's done. done. Window heat switches. switches. There are four of them. All open. The probe, of, probe, switch, probe heat is off. Both. Wing anti-ice and anti-ice, they are both off. Both. Engine anti-ice switches off. All right, let's go engine to the next one. They are here, and the engine hydraulic pumps should be on. So these are these two. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, wrong ones. Sorry, engine hydraulic pumps are here, you stupid. Actually, wait a minute, they are already on. I don't have to do anything with them. And electric highs, they are off. Okay. Okay. We still have power and everything, right? Yeah, we still do, just to make sure that... APU generator is on, right? I believe so. Uh, air temperature source selector is as needed. I'm just going to leave that on. As needed. Now, trimmer switch should trimmer be switch. now on. On. Temperature selectors, selectors, they are good as they are. As the circulation the fans circulation fan switches. should be auto. auto. And by the way, hold on, I'm actually going to start something here. This one already can start, 35,000, everything is good. Right. Why is it so low? Why is it so low? Hold on. Sound. Uh, 
There's already a maximum, so I don't know why is it so small. Should be much louder. Anyway, isolation switch should be now open. There you go. Engine bleed switches on. On. And APU bleed should be on. Which means that we start to hear that distinguished sounds. Flight altitude ind indicator, we're going to fly at 35,000. There you go. Landing. Oh, APU bleed was on, sorry. Flight altitude indicator. Cruise altitude. Landing altitude indicator. Okay, uh, landing altitude indicator we actually have. This thing here, uh, I'm going to go to there, and let's take a look at the airport info. Elevation is 14 feet, so I'm just going to put 50. 50, that's good. Destination field elevation. Okay, pressurization selector is, is already auto. Okay, lighting. Landing light switches. Landing light switches. Oh, hold on. Like this, and turn these on, like that. Retract and off. Runway turn off light switches. They should be off. They are. Off. Taxi lights should Taxi be light off. Switch. off. Ignition, Ignition select. select switch. I'm actually putting it on both. Engine start, start switches, both are on auto. auto. Anti collision, Anti -collision light switch. they are still off. off. Logo position light, light none of these I need. As okay, next yes. one. Yes. All right, now let's go for. Sorry, it's not here, it's here. Now we need to take a look at our last one. We're going to end up with. Um, Hold on, we're actually going to here, and we're going to end up approach 33, I believe. This one here. So, it's going to be, the heading is 332. Okay, 332. Of course, it's going to be 332. All right. Flight director is flight director both on. Bank angle is twenty percent. That's good. I mean, I don't. I think it's twenty degrees. Is up. Good. Minimums. We use the radio. That's radio. That's good. Now, what is the decision height? Let me take a look. The M, the DH, DAH decision height is 250, actually. No, hold on. Straight in landing, uh, 33. We're actually going to go with VNAV, so 596. So with radio, I'm just going to go for 596. Back from the Eclipse trip. Hey, do recommend. What do you mean? 
Do recommend what? Oh, the Eclipse? Look at the Eclipse or something? All right, like this, five, nine, six, good. Okay. Flight track, I cannot do anything with that. Meter switch, no need. Yeah, I've seen actually a long time ago. I'm going to use IN, that's good. Now, here, we actually are here, we have 3003. Let's put that on. When I was young, I did see it. Uh, we actually had one. When I was young, I could see it in Hungary. And that was really amazing. I totally uh, agree with you. I don't need the war. Mode selector, it's on map. That's good. Center switch, I already have it on because I like to see the waypoints. Range, range selector, never mind. Traffic. And we don't have the weather on yet. Okay. And we're going to have them. Master, where was it? Um, wait a minute. Uh, where was it? This one, master lights. Test. Disconnect lights. Test one. Does work. Test two. Oh, that's sorry. That's a little bit hard to do, though. Okay, test two. Ground proximity panel. Is down there. They are all guarded, so guard closed. I believe so, Elias. I, I really would love to see it, actually. Terrain. Guard closed. Landing gear panel is down. Auto brake it should be to RTO. Okay, M1 selector is on auto. Speed reference, speed reference is on auto. Let's reset it and rate. Um, wait a minute, it's the engine display. Uh, cargo fire is right. Oh, uh, where is it? I thought it was down here. I always forget where the cargo fire is. I think it was down here. Oh, here you go. Cargo fire test. Okay, I actually have to turn these off. And test it. Now, VHF radio, we're going to take it, keep it there. And we are not using any... Today we are not using the ILS, so I don't need this. And this one, I'm going to use it and stand by, fine. CDU display is, I don't know, these three, I have no idea what to do. I mean, it's set to, I think this is the way, that's why it's set to this page. And our M1 box, they are, oh, these ones, okay, so 90.1. Check an IES box 140, 141, 145. Check them. Okay. Auto throttle is armed. Uh, let's set V2, which is 145. How do you like that 737, alias? I love it. Initial, initial heading, I actually have to go to KORD and SID. Oh, there is no SID, hold on. So I'm going to just have the runway heading, which is... 
which is uh, runway twenty eight. So it's it's um, doesn't actually tell you. Wait, it doesn't actually tell you. Hold on, takeoff means maybe. It's supposed to be 280, but I'm not sure if it's exactly it. Hey, Delta Who, thank you for the host, man. I appreciate that. Welcome, everybody, from the Delta Who uh, group. We are actually starting up the uh, 28, right? Hold on. We're going to actually take off from... I think it's just simply 280, right? I'm just going to put it on 280. I'm not sure if it's correct or not. So heading, I'm going to put 280. We're going to, we are actually find the 738. Auto bird mode makes it as... Yep, it is. I have the auto bird. It is. I have everything on it. So it's, it's wonderful. Initial altitude, we're going to actually... We can actually shoot up directly to 35,000. I'm not going to have a radio, so I'm not going to have any steps to do that. Oops, so much. Now, hey, 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 hey. I'm not clicking you already. Where are you going? There you go. Taxi, okay, taxi and take a break. Okay, so taxi briefing is very simple, guys. We're basically going to go out here, push out to this direction, and then go that way, go all the way to the taxiway, not the first one, but the one before the runway to this one here, and turn left and go all the way, and it's going to be 28R. You have the terminator? No, I haven't got it yet. I know it's on there. I didn't get it. What does it, does it make a big difference? And the takeoff briefing, we're going to basically just uh, follow the LNAV for, for the while. And uh, we're going to go like that. Taxi takeoff briefing, start clearance. Now we don't have radio, so we're not going to get that. Okay, let's go actually do some fuel pump left and right. And we actually have a lot of lot of fuel in the center so we actually put that on as well system a we're gonna keep it off for now and system b we're gonna on anti-collision lights should be now on now the trim should be the trim should be at 5.4 Something like that. Now, Ailer and Rudder trims, they are all on zero. Good. Turn to Aspen is cool with it. I'm flying from uh, Chicago to Washington right now. CDU extras, okay, this is important. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to taxi. I have the experience, which is very stupid. Chalk on, off, I mean. And then get back to this page. And transponder. transponder is already good. Air conditioner. No, that's already for the takeoff. So I'm going to go for now and do a little pushback here. Now, the pushback is very simple. I'm going to actually use the basic this pushback. And we're going to do it manually. It's a request. I like this one. This is simple. This is actually the same as better pushback, just not the better one, okay? But it's very easy to use. All right, park break, parking break released. All right, let's just go. I don't know why, but uh, 
the that radio thing is a very low level. You know, it doesn't. It it has a very low sound level. I don't know why. It's kind of annoying. Should be should be louder, but I don't know how to make it louder. Not even sure if you guys can hear it clearly, but whatever. You can actually see everything, all the re uh, re relevant data up there, what you need for the flight, I believe. All right, and let's actually have bye. So now we're gonna go for the air conditioner packs. Gonna go for off. There you go. Engine starts with ground. And we're gonna go for Twelve, thirteen. We have to go up to fifteen. I mean, twenty-five. Sorry. Hey, thank you so much for the follow, my friend. Twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, and twenty-five. There you go. You can actually see that it's starting up quicker and quicker, and it's running nice. I got to the master question again because that that's basically because we changed how to poishi. Thank you so much for the follow, my friend. And it seems that we are nicely more or less actually I didn't Engine one. It's stabilizer, basically, and let's go let's go for Ground. Ground. Engine two start lever. We're gonna go for again idle. Twenty five. Good. You can actually see as it nicely uh, gets up, and the start wave open is going to turn off in a second. Nice. I don't know why that keeps going on. Okay, I think we can say that we are stable idle, slightly going up, but okay. Okay, and now we can go for the system A. There you go, on. Okay, engine generators should be now on. There you go, which actually turned off our platform probe, which is this time should go on. Oh, sorry, this is not the one. Probe switches should be on. Anti eyes, I don't need them. Packs go back to auto. So now we have the air, the air conditioning back on, and the isolation switch should go to auto. Pre this one is pressurization auto, it's already there. We don't need the APU bleed. Turn it off. APU switch, we're gonna turn it off. Engine start switches. We put them on continuous until we actually cruise, or at least we are flying. We're gonna go for one, two, and five. We turn on the flaps. As you can see, the flaps are moving one, Two and all the way to five. Good. Trims five point four. They are there. Good. Flight controls. Good. Okay. 
Taxi lights should be on. Parking and basically we actually start taxiing, so parking brake off. Release that. What's wrong with the electricity? What's what what's wrong? I don't know why this one is on. What's what is it showing to me? We should be all good. I think it's just simply when we are changing from one to another. I was told that probably it's just simply gonna have a caution thingy. And thank you for the. Sir. I think your game capture. No, it is not. It's working. Oh wait. Shit. Oh my goodness, how long has it been like that? Oh fuck. Give me a quick sh second. Let's get rid of that and let's... Alright, now let's see if it works. I'm just gonna change it a little bit. I'm gonna say, yeah, now it's working. Oh my goodness. How long has it been like that? Crazy. Hey, Peter is Pizza. Thank you so much, my friend. And by the way, why is it shaking that much? I should be already on game capture only, which we are. All right, so let's actually taxi. Hey, thank you, Peter. It's, it's, it's crazy. And Bubbles3246 and Lucky3879. Thank you so much for the follow, guys. Oh, my goodness. Maybe people have been, like, seeing it and it's crazy. All right. Let's try to break test. Is good. All right. All right. Let's sort it before takeoff. So we're going to just... Let's taxi first. Gosh, this is crazy. How long was it like that? It could have been like half an hour or so. So wonder why. I was wondering why people were actually leaving. That was because they couldn't see anything. God damn it. That's kind of weird. Okay, we do have that on, right? Hold on. Yes, we do. Can you guys hear that? Holy shit, we're going to be very close to this thing here. That's, not, that's a stupid way to put something. By the way, hold on. I'm actually going to go for connect and it's going to be one. One, five, four. Give me a sec. Hey, GCS008 and LEBG567. Thank you so much for coming. All right, guys. Sorry about that. All right. Thank you so much for the follow, guys. Simon Blackfish, Simon Blackfish, thank you for the follow. We kind of had to divert because there was some guy stopping his airplane way out on the thing. Can you guys hear the, the announcement?
Yes, exactly. You're going to see a takeoff. Hopefully, it's going to be a good takeoff. Wait, wait. Are you telling me that you guys cannot hear anything? What the? Hold on. Pause. The hell is going on, guys? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You guys can't hear anything. Here. Why nobody says anything about it? Hold on. I've been doing it all the way without anybody hearing anything. Give me a quick second, guys. Oh my goodness. Luckily, it was until now just the, the the setups, you know, that... But you should hear, like, all the announcements and all the things, and it's... Oh, crappy, man. Properties. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, you heard that? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. okay, okay, so you heard the woman. Okay, hold on. So if I go to pause. No, there is nothing. You cannot hear the woman talking. Can you hear the woman talking? No, it doesn't doesn't have any sound. Wait a minute, can can you bubbles? Could you hear some announcements by some lady and shit like that? Give me a second. And no engine sound. That's that's crazy. Hold on. Give me a second. Something is wrong. There is something definitely wrong. Um, and it's sometimes, unfortunately, sometimes it just happens with this stupid thing. Give me a second here. Yeah, this is bad, man. I mean, come on. That's that's crazy. Hold on. Give me a second. This is OBS. Sometimes like that, you know, it's just OBS is just screwing up, to be honest. Default, okay, and I'm going to go back to properties like this. I, it hasn't done it for such a long time, and thank you for telling me. I mean, oh, bloody hell. This is crazy, man. Give me a second. I'm trying to um, fix that right now, but... Settings. Audio. It should be. Hold on. Desktop audio device, it is the one. Okay, let me double check on something. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't work, man. Give me a quick second, guys. It's... Oh, gosh, man. I, I, I really cannot... I really cannot tell you how I hate it. It sometimes does it, and it's just... You just don't know what to do with it. Okay, I'm gonna have to restart the stream. Give me a second. Thank you for the follow, guys. It's fuckity fuck. Exactly. I'm gonna restart the stream, guys, and give me one second. Hopefully, it's gonna work, all right?